Well, from the Great Wall of China to the Berlin Wall and uh, Trump's wall, perhaps, the world has always had constructed boundaries. So how do they shape our thinking in the 21st century? I'm joined now by the author Tim Marshall. Of course, many people remember him. Our former colleague here on Sky News, whose new book is Divided, Why We Are Living in an Age of Walls. And uh, looking at your book, Tim, I mean, the truth is we've pretty much always lived in an age of walls, but we're building yeah. more than ever. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, the basic premise is, um, if I put my face right next to yours, you'll be uncomfortable. We need some space between us. After that, it's just a question of how much and what you put between us. We stop being hunter-gatherers, you start farming, you start building walls around things, and we've been doing it for 12,000 years. So that's the sort of like esoteric historic perspective, but what the reason I wanted to write this is that 65 countries have now fenced or walled themselves off from other countries. That's more than a third of the, of the whole world's countries have actually put barriers up between us. And of all the walls built since the Second World War, more than half of them have been built this century. So I thought, what's going on? And what's going on clearly is an increasing divide, increasing separation, and increasing physical barriers, which themselves are metaphors, if you like, from afraid, well, you'll know in politics, the increasing divide in politics, social media, etc. And yet, I mean, walls look pretty terrible, and you've got lots of examples of barbed wire fences yeah. and these very kind of bleak divisions right, so. uh, running between communities. At the same time, you don't think they're always necessarily bad? Well, this, this is what I regard as an unpalatable truth, but some people will regard simply as unpalatable. I, 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 walls can work. The walls of Constantinople lasted for a thousand years until they were breached, so, so they do work. Well, as a protection. Uh, as protection. The Berlin Wall worked as a prison wall. Now, get to the one of the more contentious ones. Well, well let me tell you one that doesn't work. Trump's wall isn't going to work. One that does work is the Israel-Palestine wall and fence. And this is an unpalatable truth. Um, I'm not making a case for or against it. I'm simply saying that from one perspective on that side of the wall, it works. On the, on the Israeli Hundreds side. of people's lives have been saved because the suicide bombings were no longer able to happen. On the other side of that wall, oh my goodness, you've got a different perspective. Millions of lives impacted uh, and in many cases ruined. So it is, a, it is a case of which side of these fences you're on. But it is happening everywhere. Another wall that works. Saudi Iraq, they've fenced the entire border of the Saudis and it has stopped all the bad things that were coming through. Coming through. Now, um, the most famous war was a metaphorical one, if you like, the Iron Curtain, yeah. uh, running in Europe, certainly, and of course the Berlin Wall was a physical part of that. Is the Iron Curtain coming back? When yeah. we... well, it's coming back in, in it's, you can see its shape in various ways. Firstly, uh, I've, I've been arguing for more than five years now we're in a new Cold War with, with Russia. And we do see that divide. It's just that it's further east now. You know, it is the Donbass region of Ukraine, Belarus, and then Russia, and then everybody else. But there's another thing I've noticed in the research. If you look at racist attacks against uh, immigrants, the majority of them, per, relative to population, are happening the other side of the what used to be the Iron Curtain. So you think, well, why, why is that? And that, that is, I think, because we have, over the past few decades, with great difficulty, had this education and discussion with, amongst ourselves about how to get on, and they haven't had it that side. And, and you can see this clear divide. So, you know, I mean, Walls is this sort of shorthand selling point, but it's actually about yeah. these divisions. Tim Marshall's book is called uh, Divided, Why We're Living in an Age of Wars. Lots of food for thought uh, in it. Uh, thank, thank you very much indeed.